You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. Look, I did what you had to. But at what cost? We both know how this argument goes. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave, You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce. But you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, Remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... ...more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media, and Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. This... this is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's gonna be fallout. That not even Falcone can survive. Why give it to me, then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're a Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. I need an ally in the press. After handing me something like this? I'd say you got one for life. Falcone's slippery, but 
This is enough to hang him out to dry. <sighs> what this could do for the city? My career? I'm just wondering what the cost is gonna be. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. The next time my name appears in the media, it, God, it might be an obituary. Publish it anonymously. Anyone can do that. Accountability gives the media its teeth, and that's sorely lacking in Gotham these days. I always think, crime in the city, it's a hydra. You cut off one criminal's head- Three more appear in its place, I know. Unless we kill the beast once and for all. But who's even capable of that? If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. Wouldn't be the first time. I backed Harvey's campaign for a reason. Fixing Gotham starts at the top. <laughs> Politics to the rescue? <laughs> for once, I think. Doubtful. No matter how good-looking he is. It's a good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham where it belongs. Public attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Drones, cameras, and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. You make your rounds? Yeah, no broken bones. Still yelling from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy my ass. I know you burnt powder at night. The whole city can smell it. Cameras. The entire floor is under surveillance. You'll be detected as soon as you enter. No time for subtlety. Nothing here. The White Rose, Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight.
That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down. This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered now. Show yourself! Look 
got no goddamn right to be here! Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Spare yourself the pain, old man. Yeah, I've been through worse. I'll kill Gary and the hot dog. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to leave you here? Yeah, something reeks about this whole thing. And it ain't a dead bat. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals you're so riled up about, they're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. <laughs> it's the Waynes. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You want to save this city? Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone. 
who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and a stunning expose by Gazette reporter Vicki Vale, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We've never had and never will have connections to organized crime. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. The suit, the car, this entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built! created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters too. Wonder who he's after next.
hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham? I have to... distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way.